Welcome back to Project LibreFlip. Today we're going to work on the backplate of the machine, the lower book holder and the connector plate between the suction box and the backplate. I'm going to attach this to these three dependent parts and also the linear bearing holders for the book holder. The first step is to drill out the holes in the three dependent parts because usually 3D printers make the holes a bit too narrow and we drill them open to their final dimension. This is the lower part of the book holder. The book sits on here, so it's right side up right now. And we need to attach the linear ball bearings on the other side of this, so let's turn this around. And the holes are already pre-drilled for these. But now it's kind of important that we align these the right way. And these are the metal rods that the linear bearings will ride on. And the shorter one is the horizontal, where the book holder rides on. It has the same length than this part of the backplate. So we're going to use these shorter ones here and there for this step of the process. Okay, we have four linear ball bearings here, and they need to be slipped on here to each. So the 3D printed bearing holders sit on top of here. And if we align them together with the rod and use the pre-drilled holes, we pretty much can't misalign them. For this step, I use the 4mm diameter, 20mm length screws, 4x20. And I'm going to start with a diagonal pattern. So I will put this screw in the pre-drilled hole here. Not tighten it completely, it's still a bit loose. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the other bearing holder on the other side and the diagonally opposite screw. Also, it's not tight. Okay, this still looks good and has lots of play. The opposite screw looks good. The alignment. Let's see if this still moves smoothly. Yes, it does. Good. So... Yeah, good. I do try in between each screw to find out whether I took the play out of the system. No, it's still properly aligned, still slides easily. And now to tighten all the screws to where they should be. Feels good, looks good, great. So let's repeat the same procedure for the other one. I have now mounted the linear bearings for the lower book holder and let's see if these rods actually line up with the side pieces. These two rods are supposed to fit in here. <laughs> yeah, good, good. I would have sw sweared very loud. No, great, that fits, that's good. The work was precise enough. Let's repeat the same procedure for the connector plate. This plate sits on the back plate and it's the one that's moving and the suction box is attached to this plate. So we use the long metal rods. Okay, I have put on four linear ball bearings and the plastic caps for them. Also note the white side is up. The white side is the side that's pointing towards the back plate. So the suction box is mounted on this side of this board piece. This is the back plate of LibreFlip and the paper drilling template is attached from the back. So the machine is in front of it, like right now in the table. Let's turn it around. So this is now the inside of the machine, this is the electronics compartment, and these slots is what the servo motor attaches to. So let's assemble that part. We have the mounting bracket and the set motor. Let's, let's see, I'm not sure which screws I need. So this is the explosion view of the drivetrain of the vertical axis, and I'm now, this is the motor bracket, and this is the screw that I'm looking for. It's number 20 over here, item number 20. 
It's ESO 4017 M4 by 25 hexagon head screw. These are all the screws for the project and they are sorted by size. So we have M4, M5, M6 and M8. So M, I said 4 by 25 and these must be the 4 by 25 hexagon head. Yes, perfect, good. So we are, then we also need the nuts and the washers for that. Okay, and I now have the right screws, I just looked them up. And I think it's easier to assemble the mount here before I assemble the bracket to the motor. Okay, so the motor is... These are the slips to adjust the tension of the belt. And the motor sits here. Cable goes down. That's the internet compartment. So this bracket has to go in here. This part is the upper part of the vertical movement drive train and as this is 3D printed it's necessary to stabilize this. So this part has holes here for an M5 by 50 screw with a countersunk head. They fit in there like this and now I can tighten these and these screws will hold the layers of this part firmly together even if forces are applied to it. The, the plotter didn't mark all the markings that I need, but I think I still can align this with what I have. But this part actually goes on the other side of this piece, so I need to transfer these holes before I can mount this part. So I will align the part by looking through the holes and use what little I have for alignment. So that looks good. Now I'm going to mark these holes by placing the right side drill in there and giving it one and just one whack with a hammer. If you do more than one, you might skew the hole in the wrong direction. Okay, all the others I can center, proper center punch. Okay, now I have drilled all these holes through, so theoretically they should show up on the other side. Good! All appeared. Perfect. This thing goes on like this. So let's attach it. Okay, done. Let, let's see if this fits. Yeah? This actually lines up as if it would have been made for it. Great. Uh, so this works. Awesome. Let's assemble the shaft. This is the one of the timing belt wheels that are used on the loose shaft and on the separate motor. But usually they don't come with a hole, so I need to drill that hole right now. And it needs to be rather straight. It's aluminum, which is why I'm going to use cooling. <laughs> Okay, during the drilling, this ring um, broke off. This is a kind of a bummer because it takes like three, four, five days for the new part to arrive. That's it for today. We have mounted the summer motor and we have mounted this part. And uh, I would love to continue, but these shafts turn out to be a tiny bit too thick. And I think a couple of hundreds of millimeters need to be taken off of them. So all of these other accessories uh, uh, can be slid onto them properly because right now we would probably destroy uh, these plastic parts if we just bang the shaft in there with a the hammer. And as it's all loose, it's not a problem. We can do that and we can turn this down a bit. I'll ask a friend to do that for me. <clears throat> yes, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.